Hi everybody. So right now I want to make a response to the video I made. Who is my focus man? Um dealing with the contest situation. But, you know, um I want to apologize. I'm not apologizing for how I acted, but I will apologize for the language that I used. Because, you know, I watched it. Um, after I filmed it, I felt that, you know, the language too, was too much. But, you know, I still posted it because it was how I felt. I was, my feelings was hurt, actually. They really was, and I'm not just saying that just to say it. My feelings really was hurt. I mean, because... Is you know you don't you can't do people like that you know a lot of people liked how I acted and some people didn't and most likely the people that didn't like how I um how I acted was people that didn't really have a good I mean didn't really have uh, videos and was you know the non face people that didn't even have a picture of themselves so I'm not really even tripping off of that and so like that video was basically to tell the people you know people on youtube is not fair you have to look out for them i've been seeing videos lately on other stuff that people have been scamming people and all that stuff you can't trust people as much as you think you could and i really do have a trust issue it's just that and then i try to get out of that trust issue and start trusting people who i shouldn't trust i trusted a total stranger you know and i just got that in any kind of way uh, whatever it is, so I'm just gonna end that. You know, I'm I, I I did what I did. I posted the video. I'm not gonna take it down because that's how I felt. So, and um, <clears throat> um, another thing, how it hurted me. The um, when she announced that the winners, it was the day after Christmas. My Christmas was not good at all. And I'm gonna tell you guys why it wasn't. A lot of you guys know the situation about my dad, my father. And what not, <clears throat> the last time I seen my dad was when I was 13 years old and I'm now 19. And I'm about to be 20 in March. I seen we, you know, he's been trying to get in contact with us, you know, and stuff like that. Um, over the time, like not too long ago, whatever, and stuff like that, a couple of months ago. And we finally decided to, you know, let him see us. And we wanted to see how he looked and let him see how we look, you know, after all them years. You guys do the math. You guys do the math. 13 to 19. You count how many years that's been. He's been out of my life all that time. And, you know, we told him not to bring anybody with him. You know, we tell him not to bring no girlfriends, no wives, no baby mamas, and all that stuff. You know, anybody. Don't just bring yourself. Just bring yourself. So, he showed up with a little girl. It's a little girl, two years old. So, you know, and she's her daughter. I mean, he's her. I mean, yes, yeah, she's his daughter. So, apparently, I have a stepsister now. And, you know. Everybody, you know, finds out they have a stepsister, stepbrother. But me being in my situation, when I seen this girl running around and hugging on his leg, it just reminded me. Reminded, she just reminded me of myself when I was that age. And you guys will see me on my video that I posted about my dad, of me running to him and him picking me up and kissing me and all that stuff. I forgot if I posted that part, but I'm pretty sure I didn't delete that video. So it's like it was just like all I can think about when I was outside. Cause he wasn't allowed in the house. It was just all I can think about. All I could think about was, dang, it just reminded me of how I used to be like the daddy's girl. I used to be the one he would call Buki and Boo Boo and all that stuff. And he would just, it just you know, it kind of hurt it. You know, I didn't cry, but it was I couldn't even focus. I couldn't even think straight while he was while we was outside talking to him. You know, and, um, it's like I can't do nothing about it. And the thing about it, she looks, the girl, she looks, I mean, my stepsister, she looks, it, it feels so weird to say a stepsister. It's like, out of all them years, I have a stepsister now. And then, like, the girl, the, the little girl, she looks just like her mother. And her mother is the one my dad left me, my sister, and my brothers, and my mother for now tell me how you think I would have felt. I feel hurt. 
so hurt. Like, you left her. I mean, you left us and my mom for that girl. And then you went on and had a daughter. And and then the girl fought me. I fought the girl. Not the little girl, but the, 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 the baby mama. We fought and whatnot. And then for her, you know, I just... I just can't explain how I felt, and then for the stuff to happen the day after that, with the contest, it was just, the stuff was just building up, building up, building up, and I couldn't even take it, you know, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not even the type of person that will get mad like that, but I could get like that, if I felt like I couldn't take it no more, I couldn't, I had to let people know how I felt, and I'm not going to, you know, apologize for her, for how I acted, I'm not, I'm not. Because if nobody liked it, then they just don't like it. <clears throat> so, you know, that's the reason I just wanted to post this video. Apologize my language. That's the only thing I'm apologizing for is my language. Because that was, you know, out of hand. You know, people still was like, oh, you acting like a spoiled brat, you know. I actually not because I'm not nowhere near spoiled. I have a sister and brother, so how could I be spoiled? How can I be spoiled? I can't be. And I live in the ghetto. <laughs> And I have a little ghetto in me, so when I get mad, that little ghetto will come out of me. You know, how could you say that I went too, you know, over the line with it? When, if you got done the same way, you would get upset just like me. Some people don't have the guts to get on the video and say how they feel. I got the guts. I'm not going to get done any kind of way and, you know, just get done any kind of way and not say nothing about it. Pretty, it's a whole bunch of people that have made videos saying how they felt and cursed and all that stuff. And, you know, people say, oh, you doing too much. You know, people, you're not really making a difference. All you have to do is unsubscribe. A lot of people liked how I did it. Liked it, that video. I've gotten subscribers because of that video. Because I'm telling people that people out, out, people in this world is not right, you know. It's people that's like... I'm not it's like, I don't even know how to explain how I feel right now, you know. But hey, you know, if you don't like the video, don't look at it. Don't look at it. You don't have to. I've got so many views on it that it froze. The video didn't froze, but the view count froze. So don't tell me you don't like this video. Don't tell me you didn't like that video. Because a lot of people liked it. A lot of people liked it. Because people like to see people that is real and that likes to see people that speak the truth and Jacinta is that type of person just because you haven't seen me act like that don't mean I can get like that that's what you don't know okay I'm just letting you know just cause you haven't seen that side of me don't mean I can get like that everybody can get like that trust me everybody can get like that yeah I know I've seen people on YouTube get like that and they be seeming like oh such a nicest person but they they will say how they feel I'm not. I ain't about to buy my son for nobody. I'm not. I'm, I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. So, yeah, that's all I have to say right now. I will be posting more videos. Um, um, I don't know what yet, though. I'm thinking about, you know, taking his hair down. Not soon. I mean, I'm still liking it. It kind of looks, you know, feel good. But I'm thinking about, you know, braiding my whole hair up into a beehive and I want to make my hair into like a really 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 short hairstyle you know like them real short hairstyles when girls get their hair cut but I'm not going to cut my hair I want to you know buy some weave and you know see if I can do that you know I want to see if I can you know like do it I want to be like surprised you know to see if I can do that you know